Alrighty, so today we're going to have a look at another maximization problem, and in this case we're going to be using technology to actually help us solve it. So a square and a circle are made out of 8 metres of wire. To enclose the maximum area, determine how much of the wire should be used to make the square and the circle. Alrighty, so let's just start off with a little bit of algebra. So we've got a square, let's say that its side length is x, and we've also got a circle here with r as the radius. And we're saying that the perimeter of the square plus the circumference of the circle is adding up to 8 meters in total. And we would like to maximize the area of this. All right, let's first just work out this equation, right? So the perimeter of a, uh, of a square is just 4 times x, 4 times the side length, because there's 4 side lengths, plus 2 pi r for the circumference of a circle. And that's all adding up to 8. Alrighty, so let's um, write everything in terms of x, which means that we want to put x on the other side and solve for r. So 2 pi r is equal to 8 minus 4x. Divide both sides by 2 pi. Let's factorize the top. And we can see that we get 4 all on 2 pi. The 2 and the 4 simplify, so you end up with 2 brackets 2 minus x all on pi. From there, now let's think about what the area function is actually going to look like. So the area is going to be equal to the area of the square plus the area of the circle, which is going to be x squared, x times x, plus pi r squared. But let's substitute in this that we just worked out. r is equal to 2 pi, 2, 2 minus x all on pi. And let us simplify that. So when we expand the brackets, the power of 2 by the indice laws is going to hit everything on the inside. So we get pi on the outside, and then we're going to get 2 squared, 2 minus x squared, all over pi squared. Alrighty, and we can simplify this a little bit. We've got a factor of pi on the top and a factor of pi on the bottom. So we're left with one factor of pi on the bottom, 2 squared is 4. Alrighty, now let's have a think about what particular values of this will work. Well, let's think about for x. How big or small can x be? Well, at the smallest, x can be 0, meaning that the side length of the square is 0, and the circle gets the entirety of the length of the material. So the smallest value of x is going to be 0. The question is, what is the largest value of x? Well, for the largest value of x, we have to think about, well, let's imagine the circle gets none of the length, and instead we just get a big, as big a square as we can. Well, we've got 8 meters. Each side's going to have uh, there's four sides, so divide 8 by 4, and we end up with 2 as being the maximum. So x has to be between 0 and 2, so we have these two endpoints. Now that we've got our endpoints, now that we've got a function, let's put it into the graphics calculator. Now that we've put the equation into the calculator, it's really important to think about our view window. Now again, our view window only needs to be between the values of 0 and 2. I always like to extend it a little bit. Minus 2 is fine. 4 is fine, and we've got a scale of 1. So we're only interested in between 0 and 2, and that's fine by me. Let's draw it and see what it looks like. All right, this is a pretty good view of it. And you can see at 0, we've got a height about there, and at 2, we've got a height about there. So we're going to need to have a think about where is the maximum in this. Well, it has to be at one of the endpoints. Why? Because there's only a local minimum. There's no local maximum anywhere. So it's either going to be at 0 or it's going to be at 2. So let's substitute in 0 and 2 and see which one's bigger. So we have for the x equals 0, the maximum area would be 
right, so we get 5.09 square meters. And the other option would then be the maximum, where x equals 2. So let's try that one as well. Alrighty, and 2 minus 2 is 0, so that whole second term goes to 0, and we're left with 4. Alrighty, so therefore, based on these two solutions, the best solution is a square with the best solution is a square with zero or with a side length of zero. and a circle that uses the entirety of the 8 meters. So 8 is equal to 2 pi r. And so we can see the radius would be 8 on 2 pi or 4 on pi meters long. And the total area. is 5.09 meters squared. Alrighty, and that's the end of the question. Alrighty, see you in the next video.